from the place <laughs> where the traitor. What up, YouTube? It's your boy ATH the Great Man. Bear back, bear back, bear back for another vid, man. Uh, all right. I think it was last week we had a discussion about your top 10 favorite Jordans. Uh, and it, it was pretty good. Got some good responses from that, man. Uh, it was a... Uh, it was a thought, man, that was put in my head by Jersey Deep. That's how that one got started. Uh, what up, DJ? Check it out, man. My boy DJ hitting me up, man. Uh, it's my dog. Uh, so, uh, yeah. But uh, we'll get to this video right here. So this this one right here, uh, since we talked about your favorite Jordans, now we're going to talk about your top 10 lease favorite Jordans and uh, I'm gonna break mine down pretty much by you know uh, series and also individual shoes uh, I got this idea because I got a uh, message on my top 10 uh, Jordans uh, video which it wasn't it wasn't no it wasn't a bash or anything like that you know uh, the guy's name is hopefully I'm saying this guy's name right Tyler Malden. Uh, I think he's uh, new to YouTube. His name is Tyler Malden. And the 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 question he I mean well the comment he left was good list. Can't believe you left out the fours and elevens out. Yeah, that's what he said. Well hold on, yeah. So like I said in my top ten uh Jordan videos, the only reason the eleven got left out was because well I did mention that it was in my top Jordans, but the only reason it got left out was because simply because I know everybody likes it. You know what I'm saying? So that's probably the number one Jordan for everybody is the eleven. So, you know, I mean it wasn't there for me, you know what I'm saying? So uh so I'm gonna go ahead, man, and I'm gonna get into my list here. Uh, that I have, and I'm gonna go uh, ten and up. So I'm gonna start. Let's see. Shall I start with the series or the individuals? I guess I will start with. I will, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start with the series. I'm gonna start with the series. Uh, I think the worst. Hold on, just a second, guys. Hold on. All right, I'm back. Okay, now let's go and get into this list for the series of Air Jordans. Number ten for me for my least favorite Jordan series is the Air Jordan Seven. I don't cut it up for the Seven because man, it's just a hot ass shoe, man. That you know, a lot of people like the boot inside the shoe. That's the shit I don't like about the shoe. You know what I'm saying? It's just, I don't know. It's a heavy shoe. It's. I'm not saying I don't, I'm not saying that I just, you know, because I, I have a lot of sevens. You know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm not a big fan of the sevens. Uh, number nine, this one's going to be a shocker to some of you guys because I know a lot of people, this is their favorite series of Jordans. And that is the Air Jordan 4. I just, I'm not a huge fan of the 4s, man, like, at all. Like, I don't, I maybe because, and it's not about, like, creasing or nothing, because shoes are going to crease. But after a couple of times you wear those, man, the paint just absolutely just, it just goes to shit. You know what I'm saying? And I really, you know, like I said, it's, I have quite a bit of 4s. You know what I'm saying? But it's certain shoes that are in the four that I like. The cement, you know what I'm saying? White fours. Uh, I'm also a fan of the, the uh, well, they call them the calves, but I call them the Nick colorway calves. Oh, I mean the Nick colorway fours. Those are really like the only two where I'm like, you know what? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Pretty much all the rest of them. Oh, the black cement fours. Everything else is kind of like, you know, uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? And my cool gray, yeah, my cool gray fours. But 
I mean, the paint and shit is all cracked on them like it ain't no tomorrow. So, really, it's just the paint jobs on the fours that I really don't too much care for. Okay, number eight. I got the 19. I don't own a pair of 19s, and it's a reason why. You know what I'm saying? The only 19 I like is the black and red. That's it. It's the only one I like out of those. All the other colorways, like, the front of the shoe looks, like, bigger than your fucking whole leg. It's like a damn chin pad or chin guard or whatever you know what i'm saying like i just I, i've never got off into those you know what i'm saying i really don't um my number seven uh top uh series uh, the series i don't like is the d wade whatever that was series that he had the, the first signature shoe that d wade had with jordan brand with the circle on the side and all that i just i didn't get that shoe and I just don't like that shoe at all. Um, that's number seven. Number six, I got to go with the Retro 15. It's just a black shoe. That's it. It looks like a damn space shoe. It looks like a space shoe. So I don't too much care for the the fifteens, man. Uh, I own, I got those. I have the OG colorway of the fifteen, but and that's the thing with some of these shoes that I don't like. Even though I do have some of them in my collection, it's just because I wanted them. You know what I'm saying? I probably don't even wear them. Like the fifteens I have, like I told you guys in some of my other videos, man. I got them off of eBay for ten bucks. Can't lose. So you know. So yeah. 15 series I don't uh, too much uh, care for there uh, that was six now we're into the top five and we have the 21 I only like the original color of those shoes all the rest of the, the colorways they came out with was absolutely just crazy and I'll go you know y'all are here a 21 when I get to the other side, uh, number four, the 22s. Oh, uh, yeah, we know the concept with the basketball court and the basketball and all that. And the 20, the 22, the, that's one of the most, and y'all gonna hear that again because that's one of the, they made one of the ugliest shoes with that 22 when they made the whole shoe out of a basketball like leather or something. That was just straight. Oh, my God, that's when Jordan Brand, I guess, just was fucking doing anything or whatever. So, whatever. At uh, number three, the Retro 10. I know there's a lot of guys out there that love the 10. I can't stand the fucking 10. The 10 hurts when you wear it. Yes, it's a light shoe, but... And then the 10 is like the damn hardest. I mean, that shoe, out of all of your shoes... Anybody who owns a pair of 10s, I guarantee you that's the shoe you clean the most. Why? Because you are scrubbing the bottom to make sure that what it says on the bottom still is readable. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, I just don't. You know what I'm saying? I have the, uh, they come out later on this year, the, uh, the steels or whatever, the, the steels in, in, in black and, black and steel, whatever, 10s. The I'm back shoes or whatever, like, mm -mm, man, I, I just, I like that shoe, but, you know, and then, like I said, and it kind of, that shoe kind of bring back a lot of bad memories for me because that's, I don't know if you guys remember, but, you know, that when that shoe originally came out back in the day, like, Payless had, like, every freaking colorway of that shoe in Payless, and, you know, back then, that's what I used to have to wear, so, yeah, I had some of the, the Payless you know, additions of uh the 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 well I ain't even gonna call them or Air Jordan Ten. I think they probably were the Pro Wings, some shit. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I had. So that's my number my number three. My number two is this new shit, the fucking twenty eights. The the damn moon boot. Like what is nothing about that shoe I like. Nothing. Like, even when you try to even zip it down, you know what I'm saying? Like, what is, you know, it doesn't even look, I don't even know what to do. It just, it's just a, 
It does, and, and that's the thing. Most of Jordan shoes are made for basketball. That does not look like a basketball shoe. You know what I'm saying? Just in my book, that does not look like a basketball shoe. That looks like, yeah, something that an astronaut or something wears. You know what I'm saying? So, no, I don't. That's another series I don't like. And the top series that I do not like from Jordan brand, where it's kind of Jordan brand Nike, and that is the Fusion. I don't like none of the Fusions that ever came out because, to me, a Jordan is a Jordan. An Air Force One is an Air Force One. Period. You mixed, I mean, come on, y'all guys think about the nine fusion. Like, that was terrible. You know what I'm saying? You, any of the 13 fusions. Oh, that was another terrible one. Like, the four fusion, that was terrible. But the thing about it is that it was a lot of guys out here trying to pass those fusions off for Jordans, you know, especially the four, because the four will trick you. The four fusion looked, you know what I'm saying, like the damn four. You know what I'm saying? The only difference was was the bottom. You know what I'm saying? And to me, like I said, it, besides Jordans, Air Force Ones are what I have. You know what I'm saying? And you can't mix the two. Even though, yeah, I know, you know, some of y'all probably, well, you wear Jordans and you wear Air Force Ones. Why? What's the problem with them being together? I'm sorry. I'm just, maybe that's being old school or whatever. But to me, you know what I'm saying? An Air Jordan is an Air Jordan and an Air Force One is an Air Force One. And that is, that's it. So, out of the series, that's my top 10 series I don't like. Now, I'm going to go to the individual shoes. Some of these shoes, y'all probably, some of you guys might think I'm crazy. Some of these shoes I own, but, you know, I got them. That's why I say, like, I bought them for the history of the shoe. And that's really, I'm reading my list, two of them. Okay? So, and, and the first one is number 10. And so at number 10, my worst Jordan I don't really too much like, and that's the Bordeaux 7. That shoe looked like somebody threw up on it. You know what I'm saying? I know Jordan Ward in the All-Star game. I have the Bordeaux 7s or whatnot, but I bought those shoes strictly for the history of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? That is the only reason why I bought that shoe. So moving along. Number 9, this shoe hasn't even came out yet, and I don't like it because I don't like what they did to my favorite series of Jordans. And that's the Elephant Print 5. What in the fuck is that shit? Just freaking murdered it. You know what I'm saying? Like, what the fuck is what? what? Elephant Print didn't even... Elephant Print is supposed to be with the 3. Why are you mixing it with everything else? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then put it on the 5. Like, oh, Jesus. Number eight, this is a female shoe, and again, it is my favorite series of shoes, and that is the damn Strawberry Five. My daughter thought those shoes were hideous, because I even showed them to her, hey, Jordan, you want these? Yeah. I don't want those. Those are ugly, Daddy. I'm like, yeah, uh -huh, you got good taste like the Daddy. Those shoes, mm -mm, man, and I mean... I know a lot of people probably bought them for their daughters and their girls and stuff like that or whatever, but, man, that's an ugly-ass shoe to me. It's just, ugh, I don't like it. All right, number seven, OG-15. The OG-15, and that's just the, uh, the, the black shoe. <laughs> that's it. It's just a black tennis shoe with a nose poking out, like, there's no other colors to it or anything like that. It's just black. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I'm sitting here in all black. Black is my favorite color, but not on that shoe. You know what I'm saying? So that's another one I don't I don't too much care for. Uh, go to number six. Yep, number six. I don't know if you guys uh, remember this shoe, but... The all red twenty one. Like I said, I that when I seen that shoe, when I first seen that shoe, I was like, "What in the fuck is that?" This what we coming to? Just all it's all red and it's suede. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is, the shoe's ugly as fuck. But I know they brought out other shoes now, like doing that colorway. You got the Raging Bull, you got the Bravo Toros. You know what I'm saying? 
And I wouldn't even buy those shoes. Raging Bull, I didn't get neither one of them. It's just something, like I said, and I don't want nobody to think I'm no gang member or nothing like that because it ain't about no blood or cuz. <laughs> anyway, but uh, like I said, like the Raging Bull and the Toro Bravo, those shoes look good. I wouldn't purchase them for myself because I don't even know what, what would I even wear that, wear that stuff with. You know what I'm saying? So... I just would I, I couldn't see myself rocking just a straight all red shoe. Like the only colors that I can wear where it's just straight one color, black or white. Except for the, you know, except for this 15. You know what I'm saying? Like black or white. That's that's all that it's going to be all one color. That's it. I don't even see myself rocking no all blue shoe, no all purple shoe, you know, or gray. Sorry, that's another one. I will, of course, gray. You know what I'm saying? Cool gray whatever, blah, 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 you know, I can see my, you know, that, but, you know, mm -mm, not no all red, I can't get down with that, okay, at number five, oh, man, I gotta go, number five, I, I this one is, you know, because, hmm, it's it's kind of it's kind of like it's it's out there you know what i'm saying like you know I, I guess maybe i'm i don't know i said maybe it might tick some of y'all off with with this pick on this shoe but like i said it's one of the shoes it's just it's not i don't like it you know what i'm saying you know and uh and that's your, uh, golly, man, I can't even think of the name of the shoe. Uh, I, I can't, I, I can't even think of, of the name of the shoe. I, I'm just going to say this for number five. I don't know if you guys remember the FBI's Jordan, where they came out with like a few colorways of them FBI Jordans, like the Team Jordan shit or whatever. No. You know what I'm saying? All of that, you know, I mean, that was a series, but it was like this particular colorway. I, I don't even know what the colors were. It was like blue and green and all this other shit in it. I can't, I don't even know like what the Pacific name for them was, but you know, those, that, that right there, that's my number, uh, where, where the hell am I at? Number five, I think. Let's see, one, two, three. Four, five. Yeah, I'm at four now, guys, right? All right, yeah. It's not shit. I don't know. I think I lost track thinking about that. All right, so we're going to go to number four. I know this is going to... I know with this one, it's... Uh, the purpose behind the shoe, I'm all for it. I am all for the purpose behind this shoe. So... I don't want nobody to get all hurt in their feelings because I said this shoe. But this is another shoe like what they did with this Elephant Print 5. The same thing they did to the 3. And my number 4 is the Dornbecker 3. I know some of y'all probably just fell out of y'all seat right now. The only reason y'all are on that shoe is because of the hype. And... That's the thing. It's a hyped up shoe and all of a sudden, like, it's the, all of a sudden, the colorway of the fucking shoe looks good. No, sorry. The shoe's ugly as fuck to me. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, again, not knocking the, uh, the purpose behind it, but I don't like that shoe. Alright, number three. Uh, now when I get to my top three... It's not really an individual. It's just like, you know. So the twenty-eight, number three, uh, the because I don't like. I said I don't like the the black and whatever neon that came out. The, the whatever the camo or whatever and all that other shit. All that crap is ugly, man. I but I guess I would have to just say the camo is. My number three, because that is like a ugly as hell. I don't know what the hell if it's lightning going through that shoe, if it's fucking rain pouring. I have no idea. Okay, number three. 
Oh, man. Not knocking any of my rep homies. Like I said before, to me, there's three different types. You got your fakes, you got your reps, and you have your authentics. Okay? Now, my number two, and this is not even a series, I guess, with Jordans, but I don't like crazy-ass color fakes. What I mean by is, like I told you guys before, the worst pair of shoes I've seen is a guy with some SpongeBob 13s. SpongeBob 13s. I've seen worse. I can't think of the top of my head, but I've seen some SpongeBob 13s. That was crazy. So, but, my number one, and again, I just do not, I don't like the series, it, it maybe should, it, I don't like the series, like I said, and that is, I'm just going to put out, that's the Fusions, I think the first Fusion I seen was the white and 13, the 13 Fusion, with the fucking strap and all that, man, please. That would that 13 fusion is the fucking ugliest guy. I, if I had to pick, I'm rolling with fucking SpongeBob. I'm telling y'all that now. If I had to pick, I'm rolling with SpongeBob over a fusion. And I know again, y'all probably like, man, that boy Athens crazy. But that's just me. I just despise them fusions. Like I said, to me, a Jordan is a Jordan. An Air Force One is an Air Force One. Do not try to mix them. You know what I'm saying? That's just me. None of those fusions even, like I said, even with some of these series, like you have a shoe that looks good out of it, not those fusions. Because it was, it, it just threw it off. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you gonna put the strap around like on a 13? You know what I'm saying? Like, and then with the fours, how you gonna put the Air Force One bottom like? I don't know. I don't know. I don't get it. I, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? I know everybody else's list is gonna be different, but you know, that's me. So that's my top 10 least favorite Jordans on series and individuals. Uh this is what my second video of the day. I got two more to go, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut out of here, man. It's your boy, man. ATH the great man. And I'm out. Peace. <laughs>